Hello, my friends, and welcome back to prayer as we pray today's Mass, which is Thursday of the third week of Easter. Let us sing to the Lord, for He has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. We gather in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind all of our sins, all of our brokenness, and ask God to put us together with his love, mercy, and grace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days, when by your gift we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert road. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you're reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. And as a lamb before its shearer is silent. So he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and the Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Astos and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response for today, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not the prayer, my, refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. 
I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors made manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, i got to open this up again because I need to look. My brothers and sisters, this first reading from the Acts of the Apostles is a beautiful story of saying yes. Because it took two people to say yes to make this work. The eunuch had to say yes when he heard the beautiful words of Philip to stir in his heart, and God started stirring because Philip said yes to say the words of God. So notice how God is involved in both of these, and God inspires it all. But it does take us to say yes. I'm reminded of Mary, Mary's ultimate yes, her yes that changed the world. Philip's yes changed the world. The eunuch's yes changes the world. My friends, when we say yes to God's word and love, we change the world as well. Now you may be thinking, Father Jason, I haven't left the house in four days. How am I changing the world? But we are changing the world because when we return to the world, when we go back out to those stores and when we're able to do the things that we used to do, we will be changed because we did say yes to God and continued our faith. And even if our faith was really small, we continued to try to build that faith and continue to say yes. Because my friends, you can't just say yes on your baptism day. You can't just say yes on your confirmation day, but you have to say yes every second of the day. And not just when you open your eyes, but when you close your eyes and when you do everything. It has to be a yes to God's mercy and love. Yes, amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now join together and pray for the needs of the church, for our world, and for ourselves. For our church leaders, may God guide their efforts in sharing the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold positions of civic authority, may the Spirit of the Lord lead them in serving their people with charity, justice, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle each day to feed themselves or feed their families, may God give them strength and lift them from their difficulty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this joined faith community, may God grant us the zeal and faith of Philip as we announce the gospel in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they see God in all his splendor in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's Mass intention is the St. Thomas Mass intention for Francis Gary Brady. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. My friends, now let us offer to God our prayers that are on our hearts today. For all these prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring these petitions, knowing that your love surpasses our understanding. 
We ask that you hear and answer our prayers according to your will, through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share the divinity of Christ, who comes up to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have known to come your, to, as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirits. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. My friends, today let us pray Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Thomas and St. Monica, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God bless you, friends. I'm so glad to be with you each day. I love you, and may God's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our Mass is ended, my friends. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.